Hello and welcome to My Nation. I am Siddharth Rai and today we have with us Mr. Rajiv Chandrasekhar. He is a member of parliament and not many know that he is also the principal author of BJP's vision document 2025. Also, as we are going to talk about the Sabri Mala issue today, is that he is a Guru Swami, somebody who has completed 18 consecutive years of pilgrimage to Sabri Mala. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. So this entire controversy has so far been framed as if one between uh, religion and tradition on the one hand and modernity, gender rights, uh, constitutional rights on the other. How do you place it? No, I, I, I said this uh, some months ago that there is an almost deliberate attempt to make this or to frame this narrative into what it is not. It is not Hindus versus any other religion. It is not Hindus versus liberals. It is not uh, Hindus versus women or Bucks versus women. It is pure and simple, the worst case of political opportunism by the Marxists to create a divide in the Hindu community in Kerala. And more importantly than that, uh, which is, you know, that divide, uh, dividing Hindus is an old political strategy. Right. More important than that is, is almost a complete denigration uh, and insulting an age-old tradition that many Bucks believe in. Now, the, the issue with this tradition and this faith is that faith is not uh, uh, some clearly documented uh, document like the Indian constitution and it is something that millions of people believe in. So it, this is an issue, this is an article of faith for many people who have gone up to Shabrimala for many many years. That Lord Ayyappa is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an idol, is a god that they worship and all of those traditions around him are part of the faith. So this is an issue of faith, this is an issue of millions of people believing in something for decades and years and for that to be trampled and trifled with a gross insensitivity it has caused anger. So this is not about women's rights, this is not about equality, this is not about the constitutional uh, guarantee of equality to genders. This is pure and simple, millions of people believing very devotedly you know, on, into a faith and that being trampled on with a insensitivity that is making people very angry. Right. So since we are talking about faith, also do you see that there has been a selective assault on Hindu beliefs and practices when in fact the uh, government, the left government in Kerala has actually failed and has never intervened so far as uh, churches own excess. Yeah, and so th this is uh, th this is true, but I am very careful in, in, when I get into this debate of not making this about Hindus versus Christians versus Muslims. And for the simple reason that uh, when this Supreme Court judgment came out, some of the leaders that came out in support of the Ayappa faith were leaders of the Hindu and the Muslim and the Christian faith. Uh, because they also understand the issues of faith and how deep faith runs, especially in, in India. Uh, so. But it is clear that the Marxist ideology is an ideology that is predicated by and hinges around hating things and creating hate. So the Marxists have seen this from day one as an opportunity to undermine the Ayappa faith and therefore probably try and create some divides and schisms in the Hindu community. And this is an age old tradition of the uh, Marxists. So they don't believe in women's equality. It is not, th th this whole approach of Pindrai Vijayan and his government is not pro anything. Mm -hmm. It is clearly a, a, a strategy to disrupt, divide, insult and denigrate mm -hmm. the faith of millions of Ayyappa Bucks. It is pure and simple because I have tweeted this, right. that the only common theme of the left ideology is violence and hate. They hate their country, they hate their flag, they hate their army, they hate religion, they hate faith. But they can't extend that to the Muslim and the Christian communities because they are very, very critical vote banks for their perilous uh, sort of survival in, in Kerala. So they don't mess with them, but they feel it is open season to mess with uh, the Ayyappa Bucks and uh, Hindu, uh, Hindu devotees because they believe that Anyway, all the Hindus don't vote for them, so therefore, since they vote for either the Congress or the BJP, let's uh, take pot shots at their faith and them. Right. Now, since we are talking about Hindu rights and Hindu beliefs and Hindu practices, 
do you believe that a certain hindu reaction is brewing down south there could be some uh, you know the sabri mala issue could become a rallying point of a, a strong hindu consolidation and therefore uh, polarization look i have from day one uh, maintained that this should not be political I think the moment you have politicians trampling over this issue, whether you are the BJP or the Congress or the left, uh, the credibility of the sentiment behind this movement gets uh, hit for a six. So I, um, I I believe very clearly that there is an anger, there is a deep-rooted anger and resentment against the way, uh, against the insensitivity and almost the callous nature in which. Uh, Uh, our faith has been dealt with that anger is very nothing to do with politics whether the anger is channelized by a political party and results in some hindu consolidation politically i don't know but it is clear that the ayappa community whether it is in kerala tamil nadu karnataka andhra pradesh and you know devotees come from all over are very 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 angry and uh, i will even uh, go as so far as to say that this is almost like the last legs of the marxist political presence in the south uh, you know they have been wiped out in tripura they have been wiped out in west bengal and the last sort of uh, tenuous bastion is kerala but this move by pinrai vijayan will effectively seal the fate and will be the sunset on marxism in india this i am willing to go out on a neck uh, on a limb and uh, predict uh, but who will benefit politically from it i am not willing to uh, say because uh, politicians unfortunately can tend to be very callous and very opportunistic and i think to, to deal with ayappa bugs today in an opportunistic manner is being very unfair to them right so do you believe that uh, the pinarayi vision government has actually overplayed its hand in dealing with this a complete mismanagement uh, you know uh, not understanding the issue at all no so look uh, sidal i have said this repeatedly and i have taken the brunt uh, from pinra vision on this pinra vision is not overplaying it this is the only strategy he knows right. this is him uh, he has absolutely no pro positive agenda marxism today uh, a left ideology has nothing positive to offer right. to the scores of unemployed youth in right. kerala to the absolute lack of economic development and progress in kerala so what they do as a strategy is to create hate mongering create divisions put uh, pit the muslims against the hindus create artificial uh, controversies for the hindus to react against the muslims you notice in the last 3 days it is almost deliberately be turned into by some people in the marxist uh, party into something of hindus versus muslims and i have taken many uh, uh, pains to go out and repeatedly tell uh, malayalis and people in kerala that this is nothing to do with muslims versus uh, hindus this is nothing to do with christians versus uh, hindus this is nothing to do with ayappa bugs uh, against muslims this is pure and simple a, a struggle of the ayappa ideology and the ayappa faith against the marxists and the marxists come from no religion Marxists come are uh, their descendants of Stalin and uh, Karl Marx, so therefore we don't need to make this into, and we should not allow this to be made into something that Pinrai Vijayan wants. And to answer your question, Pinrai Vijayan has not overplayed, underplayed. This is the only play he knows. He has right. So do you believe that somewhere governance? Uh, or perhaps even tourism in god's own country has become the casualty no look i think uh, and this is again you know we are talking about this in the context of shabrimala but this is something that i've already said that kerala is a country that is running uh, a 20 25000 crore deficit has zero private investment and at the at, you know when there's a natural calamity uh the the state government has to go to the shameful uh, embarrassing situation of going and begging for money from the middle east Uh, and you know i have no problem with uh, going to the middle east and seeking investment and so on and so forth but you have created a model where a state that was a proud producing state is almost completely dependent on its economy on remittances from the middle east right. Right. and it is a fragile uh, situation and because there are there is so much unrest and dissatisfaction amongst the youth mm-hmm. the marxist strategy has always been distract them from asking the government for employment opportunities asking the government for economic opportunities to channeling their anger into some divisive 
uh, issue like you know ayappas or shabrimala or etc etc number one number two i'll just quickly say this before the shabrimala incident and before pindrai vijayan tried to become this women's equality uh, champion if you look at the statistics of women's safety in kerala since 2016 when he became chief minister actresses have been kidnapped and molested there is a huge uh, the, uh, the ncrb data shows that crime against women have have spiked under the under the left so uh, there is nothing there is no governance in kerala there is there is of course the cpm and there is this 24/7 left movement there uh, they are clinging on to what is clearly rapidly uh, disappearing in front of them as as political space and opportunity and so this is like i said a tailor made opportunity for pindrai vijayan to distract away from his record or lack of record of governance into suddenly a new found opportunity to be a champion of women's rights which is absolutely nonsense thank you so much thank you. thank you so much for being with us uh thank you for being with my nation as you uh, as we saw mr chandrashekhar believes and of course there's a message also for the pinrai vision government this is an article of faith not to be tinkered with also the way it has been grabbed by the left government is a uh, rather uh, strong evidence of how it is trying to deflect the blame from unemployment from uh, uh, deteriorating law and order issues and as he said since there is no governance governance has not suffered and it is basically a diversionary tactic thank you so much